Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we had a pretty good time on a few missions. We did really well, we got introduced to some characters such as Octavia and a few of the others. But this time we have a Barbarian to introduce as well as a Butcher. Uh, we do also have a new Vestal but she is still waiting on a backstory so she'll be getting introduced a little later on. Uh, maybe mid-episode, it might be later after that. Either way, she's still at level 0 so we have plenty of time to work with the Vestal. Um, but for now, the Butcher and the Barbarian are going to be our main two classes, so let's go into those guys. Here we are in the Cursed Estate, and we have a few new people to introduce. We have our Barbarian, which he is somewhere around here, and we have our Butcher as well. So, our Butcher here... Where's our Barbarian? Where's he gone? I don't know what level we brought in our Barbarian at. I think it was a level 1, if I remember correctly. But they're both classes that I'm very interested in. There he is. Uh, let's put him up next to our Butcher. And get these two ready and backstoried up. So, go over here. This is going to be our Butcher named Nevada. I'm very interested in this backstory. Very good one by T.E.A. And let's get into that now. So the Butcher's going to be kind of an interesting class. He's very sort of regular. He doesn't have any super unique abilities. But he's going to be very synergistic with some other classes. And I'm really looking forward to, um, to some of these. It's going to be very, very useful to have him in a group. Um, Nevada is a simple man. He works as a farmhand, likes to fish and drink at the local bar, loves his family and his friends more, and is pretty smart despite not receiving a formal education. At least that's what anyone who knew him would tell you. Nevada was like any other person most of the time, but whenever he got a letter, he put on the bloodstained mast and picked up his blades. He was a contract killer, merciless and brutally efficient. There was no need to worry about law enforcement or even the military. They wouldn't try, try to track him down. He went where the target was, cut down any obstacles, killed the target and left. He did this to build his fortune, but also to train. He had spent lots of time and money learning about religion, the occult, astronomy, astronomy um, and for years, he had felt something loom some looming threat in the stars, and finally he had found it. He was tracking the comet when it fell, a bright blue enveloping landscape blinding all but Nevada, who stared ahead blankly, and it was time. He left without a word, didn't leave no, burnt his home and all its belongings to the ground, taking only his armour, blades, some food, and a journal. There was a madness to be fought, and his blade couldn't cut it. His mind would. He was sure of it. So a nice backstory that builds in the uh, Colors of Madness DLC into it. So he's definitely going to be someone that we bring along for the Colors of Madness. I'm really liking these tie-in stories. Um, I do apologize if I slightly butcher the uh, the readings there. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I've been really enjoying them, uh, and he's going to be very interesting too to join in on our crew here. So let's uh, let's hop into our next one here with our Barbarian. Here we have our Barbarian, Dr. Henry Jackal. And this is a really interesting backstory. Uh, basically, so uh, Unstable Strafe took sort of a... A little bit of a gamble with this backstory and tried to try to build in something a little more unusual for a barbarian and i really really like what she did with it it's, it's built up a really brilliant backstory here so henry jackal was an extremely smart and wealthy scottish chemist who specialized in creating drugs to aid the frail body with living a normal life through the powers of specified steroids caffeine and other such substances he devoted all of his time and research to me uh, and resources to medical research he was um, considered a hero across all of Europe and often would go to hospitals himself to treat the ill. If the doctor was in your town, you could rest easy knowing you were in good hands. Even with all of the fame, Jackal stayed humble, living in a modest home and refusing luxuries such as servants or expensive carriages. In his spare time, he'd often be seen tending to his tulip gardens, feeding the birds, or caring for his chickens. His life was simple, honest, and did the Lord's work in helping selflessly. However, on one ill-fated day, Jackal was struck by an extremely bad virus that left him crippled from the waist down for the rest of his life. 
While this greatly distressed him, Jackal didn't care, uh, didn't see it as a as a curse. Rather, he saw it as a challenge to over overcome. And within a month, he was able to walk again with the help of special medicine that he'd made. And nobody could even tell that he'd ever been bedridden. However, this drug would cause him to sometimes black out and wake up in a different place. And soon, Jekyll realised the drug allowed him to somehow touch the realms of other minds. At the realm of mind, sorry, uh, where he'd become a much younger and stronger version of himself, but in the real world. He would put these powers to use, fighting bandits and knight under the name Edward, H Edward Hyde, while Henry Jekyll would treat the sick during the day. It was by chance that he came across the hamlet. There, he knew he'd be needed most. So he's actually an academic and uh, a medic, but also he's a barbarian. I kind of love this. It's a really unique little backstory, and this guy's going to be a really, really great addition. What would make this even better if he, if he had some healing abilities, but when he is in the dungeon, he is in full barbarian mode. He heals when he's back in the hamlet, but... When he's down in the dungeon, he will be in full barbarian mode. So he's going to be someone that we probably play around with quite a lot. We've got a few different things that we might want to do today. Um, a few different places we might want to go. I'm thinking we could maybe go with the Brigand 8 Pounder. Um, and go with these here, which could be quite good. Um, but I'm not 100% sure as of yet. It's ideal that we do a wield uh, mission, to be honest, because we're going to be getting extra resolve XP for going to the wield. Uh, but I also do very much want to do uh, something in the Warrens, because we have just so much opportunity to do well there. Um, oh, do you know? That would be so good on our highwaymen. It's insane. Also, the Brawlers Club's got another pair of those. But yeah, let's let's try and do the Brigand 8 Pounder. Uh, so, for those of you that don't know, the Brigand 8 Pounder is going to be one where... We're not actually going to be getting great trinkets here, but that one's really good. The term of holy healing. Um, the Brigand 8 Pounder, basically, what we need to do is we need to have a really strong offense on the back line. So, I think our best way of doing that is going to be bringing our Helion. Uh, I forget our Helion's name. Let's try and find our Helion. Um, has, she has Swan Song, I do believe it's called, which is a very, very good attack for hitting the back line. Uh, we definitely want to... There you go, Felfer. So we'll take Felfer here, um, and she's going to have Iron Swan, which is going to be able to hit that back line very easily, which is really, really nice. Uh, and she's going to get some bonus in the Warrens. Unfortunately, this is going to be the wield we're taking on. Uh, Bleed isn't too useful here. Um, I think... I suppose nothing else is really going to cut it, but this is going to be really good, Iron Swan, just to hit that back line, make sure we're doing good damage. She's also going to deal good damage in the front here, so she'll be coming with us. Um, of course, this is our vessel here. Let's have a little look. Maybe we'll take H uh, Henry with us. Let's have a little look. Does he have any attacks that can easily hit the, the back line here? Uh, we don't want him to be pushing forward, so we don't really want that on. Um, so we've got this is going to hit the front too. Armor piercing as well, which is very good. Wow. That is an impressive damage range. Uh, he can either hit for very low or very, very high. So that's that's interesting. Cleave is going to debuff himself with less accuracy damage and prot. But it's also going to... Uh, and minus HP as well, actually. But it's going to shuffle and bleed everyone, which is really interesting. Um, it's going to mark target... It has a chance to stun, but also a chance to activate repost. Interesting. Uh, that's going to be a way for us to stun. Um, it's going to add a lot of prop block, marking yourself. Hmm. We've got, we got some very interesting ones here. Uh, but he's not really going to be a huge, a huge help here, I don't think. I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to go with these two here and... So we have two different ways to activate repost here. So this one's going to be uh, activate repost. It's going to minus a lot of his health off, but it is going to. Wow, this is this is kind of crazy. You have to be very very careful with that. Going into rage is gonna is gonna hurt us for a lot, a lot and a lot. Uh, I this is very difficult. Very difficult. I think we go with this here and try and set up this and see how that works out. I think this could be quite, quite good. And we bring bring him with us as sort of a big damage dealer. Uh, then we need some, some sort of more guaranteed healing here. 
Uh, so let's have a look who we can take. We've been taking out quite a few different healers throughout this. Uh, that have been doing pretty well, honestly. Let's have a look. Uh, Lucas could be rather good here. Lucas is always a pretty strong healer. Mary could be pretty good. Joseph could be pretty good. Mary and Joseph. Didn't, didn't even realise the, the, uh, the naming conventions there, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, we don't want anything that really does bleed or anything. We need to be dealing that heavy damage. I think... I think we go with Lucas, wherever he's gone. Yeah, we'll take Lucas with us. And I think we go with an archer, maybe. An archer could be really, really, really good uh, for the back line to be able to hit that back line, but also deal good damage to the front line as well. So maybe taking Sabrina with her quick shot. Uh, doing the extra damage versus Mark is going to be quite a good synergy um, with this. Oh, this, is, this is only Mark's self, actually, so maybe not. Uh, marking is a pretty good synergy, but also I do like the idea of bringing Sabrina along here. There's not really anyone else down here that I could feel would fit better. Maybe Linus could be quite good. Um, Linus could be quite useful. He does have that armor-piercing reduced prot attack, uh, as well as the ability to add a bit of bleed and stun. Uh, and this here. And he does have that amazing trap disarm. But at the same time, he's, he's relatively weak, so maybe that's not the best idea. What's his disease right now? It's overfeeding. So he is, he is a little bit low on speed. Um, but then again, so is everyone else. So maybe that's okay. Let's have a look. Will Sabrina be a little better for us here? Maybe so. Sabrina's going to get that extra dodge. We'll go with... Let's have a little look-see. Uh, it's not like the brothel. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, you've interfered the flock's ordeals. Your days are numbered. Mark by the flock. That's... That's pretty brutal. I think we'll take Linus instead. What's what's the sort of damage difference? 5 to 13 versus 5 to 8. Yeah, I think we'll take Linus and hope that he helps us out. The wheel traps are going to be kind of good to get over. And this is a machine of war, so Linus maybe knows a decent amount about this. I mean, as a trap maker, I imagine he's seen his fair share of war machines and that's that that sort of thing so he might be pretty well versed here so let's bring him along and let's start trinketing people up so we already know some of the trinkets we're going to be using here um you're of course going to be getting the extra healing um now this is going to be interesting so you've got a crit of six i reckon we try and buff your crit up a lot so we lower your dodge and speed buff up your crit and damage but then go with the the dodge just gets annihilated, but your your damage and crit goes really high up. But we could also do that on you for the. <sighs> I'm actually thinking that's probably better on you because you already have very low dodge. So we put that on you along with along with these here uh, for the four to twenty five with a nine percent crit. That seems pretty useful, and on you. We could go with a straight up 25% damage. Minus 5 crit is always a little a little iffy. Um, and we could go with the extra damage versus humans for the true damage. Because we are in the wield here, which does have more humans. We know the boss is human based. The machine itself isn't, but the people we're attacking are. So, I think that could be quite beneficial, and I think we will go with that. We're taking a hit on our stats. Dodge is pretty low, but our damage being up by 50% against certain targets is really, really nice. Um, Lucas, I think we'll just go with a Book of Sanity on you, maybe. Uh, you're not going to be doing much else other than healing. And then, here, we've got a lot of different options here. We could go with the straight-up accuracy, which is, is pretty darn good, to be fair. Uh, the, the straight up accuracy is nice. Or we could go with something a little different. Um, hmm. Go with something a little different. We don't have anyone with a jar of slime, which is rare. It's very rare, in fact. So maybe we want that instead. The jar of slime mixed with... It's weird because we've got a lot of things that add prot. And I, I do like to use those when we can. The the prot trinkets, this one mixed with this one, do lead for some really nice situations where we can tank a lot of hits. 
And honestly, I think that's better than the accuracy. Let's go with a heavy prot on you. Um, minus three speed after the first round. So lowering his speed really doesn't hurt him that much. Feel no pain is, isn't great here either. Uh, and I think we'll just go with that, and that's gonna be that's gonna be good for us here. And we'll we'll try this out and see how this goes. Uh, hope this goes all right. Just want to see if there's any other trinkets that's gonna be better for you. We really need more healing trinkets. That that would be very very useful. But doesn't look like we're really getting any of those. Uh, so in the wield here, going against the brigand eight pounder. Let's try this out. Uh, so we want our food. Our like I, I'd say like eighteen food, and then like sixteen torches, and then we go. Four, two, three, 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 and three. It's usually a little overkill taking this much supplies, but I'd rather go overkill than under. Are by their nature loquacious, and the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, all turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. Okay, that's the Brigand 8 Pounder there. Okay, so we do have a diary entry here coming from TEA. Uh, T, uh, this is a giant uh, a journal entry for Clint, the bounty hunter after Octavia's arrival. Caught wind of another refugee fleeing this damned hamlet. Her name is Octavia. I recognize the name. 130,000 gold for her head. And I know I'm an assassin in the town that could. I know an assassin in the town that could make it look like an accident. Split the profits and keep my identity safe. She better hope she doesn't show her face. So of course, Octavia having a bounty on her head. The bounty hunter sees that and knows what can be done with that. So that's definitely something that uh, that Octavia needs to look out for. Okay, so we are of course getting our extra damage and resolve XP here, which is the main reason I wanted to do this today. Uh, but these two, oh boy. I think these two are going to be insane. You've got 50% more damage, and you just have the ability to destroy. Absolutely destroy when you hit. I mean, you also have the ability to kind of whiff. You're kind of a little bit like the occultist's heal in that sense. But I, I like the idea. And these two, I think they'll pair very, very nicely together. I think these two will uh, will work very well together. And also, Lucas and, um, and Henry also have a very sort of common attribute. We get that extra crit there going. Nice dodge there, Linus. The stun there isn't great. The mark is the main problem. That that dodge there, though, is great. Uh, we'll just go for that 41 on the crit. This is what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for. Oh, my God. Okay, I've just realized something. I don't know if you guys notice, but Felther's missing an arm. Felfa is missing an arm. I don't know if that happened before she got here, but it's bandaged up and looks looks a bit bloody. I think on her way in here, she might have had a bit of a scrap, a bit of a, a bit of a battle. She is one-handing that thing like a beast. An absolute beast. Nice dodge there. Linus is just, he's a dodge master. I'm going to take that there. Um, I think we'll just go for the big hit here. 18, that's huge. Absolutely huge. It's interesting to see that we've got a character that's actually missing an arm. There, <laughs> there's the hit for four. Oh, get him out the way with early, Henry. Get him out the way with early. We don't want to see those. We don't want to see those. Nice hit. There's 22. That's what we need to see. I, I really like the gamble of Henry. Having an occultist-based sort of healing mechanic, but on a damage attack or damage dealer is interesting. Very interesting. I really like the way he plays as well. We're most likely just going to use his basic attack, to be honest. Ooh, it's trapped. Um, was that meant to be used for a key? Uh, I will heal that off you straight away. No need to take any necessary damage this early. Nice surprise there. This is great. Okay, Lucas is always starting off um, with this motivational hypnosis, but it's great. Getting extra crit on everyone at the start of a battle, it just feels amazing. We're going to finish you off. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Henry. Slice. 24. Huge. Absolutely huge. He's going to be our bonafide warrior. 
this barbarian class is 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 rather fun. Um, motivational hypnosis again, just up that crit chance for a round, and then we can go with this here. This is an insane group right now. I'm loving this group. Mark me, do it. What's that gonna do? Uh, so let's see how this works. Whoa, that's interesting. So it blights us, marks us, and gives us a block. Wow, that 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 was awesome. I love that little voice line did there. That's the the darkness that's taken him over there. You can tell he's in his blackout mode right now. You can really feel it. I like to think that Lucas was speaking to Henry as his doctor form and was like, yep, um, it's going to go out and just do some healing. They were both like, yeah, talking about the medical professions. And all of a sudden, he just blacks out, wakes up, grabs a sword and just starts going. He, like reforms into his one of his young, like his younger self and just starts going off. I just, I can imagine that. These two. This this extra damage versus humans, Malak, that we've got going on right now, it's ridiculous. It's it's genuinely ridiculous. So does anyone here have really bad quirks? I know that this can maybe remove quirks. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, we want we want to do that on you. I think. We found a map. Nice one. Nice one. Okay. Keep on heading through. We're, we're, we're doing all right so far. This is going to be actually a pretty quick mission, I think. I always tend to bring way more provisions than I need on these missions. But like I said, I'd much rather bring too much than too few. Every single time. Uh, it might be wasting a little bit of money. But I'm, I'm, I'm far more happy with staying as safe as we can here. Right, let's pop that open. Pop in here. We'll probably camp here. See how we do with camping here. We've got plenty of food. Actually, we don't have plenty of food. Let's just do this for now. Make sure we can do that. Uh, prevent nighttime ambush here for, for a cost of two, which is great. Um, just checking everyone else's. You don't have any camping skills available for us yet. That's a shame. We should have really unlocked some of those first. Um, he's got some unique ones here, which could be quite interesting. Unfortunate, but yeah, we'll prevent nighttime ambush here. Let's have a look what we've got going on here. Self only extra crit is great. Um, self only, wow. That's so good for us. And minus uh, less speed. Extra resists, lots of less stress. Let's just go with the party-wide dodge and search for herbs. There you go. I think we're good on that. Invented nighttime ambush there. That was very successful. Oh my god, Felther's gonna just absolutely. We should we should use this first, and Felther is going to annihilate. Absolutely annihilate. Like I cannot imagine how destroyed this Brigonate Pound is going to get. I very I I actually think it won't get the chance to attack us. I really do think we're gonna just annihilate it. It's gonna be very, very fun. I'm really, I'm very ready for this. Here it is. So we need to be taking out these back two. Blanket fire, that's fine. Slice and dice here isn't great. Uh, does this have, it does technically have prop. Let's just try and take you out. Take you out. Wow, 25 damage on a non-crit. You're just going to be going for the, the actual thing. Fire in the hole. No way. Okay. We need to... Thank God we missed on all those. I kind of forgot that that's how that worked. I completely forgot that's how, that's how that worked. So we need to be very careful here. Um, You need to go... Keep going on this. We need some bigger hits here, dude. Let's get that prop down. Nice crit there. Beautiful. That's even marked it. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Reinforcements. Need to take that guy out as quick as possible. Nice heal there, guys. Slice and dice is painful, but it's not terrible for us. 26. That's great. Uh, I just want to keep getting his armor down. 13. That's fine. Reinforcements coming in. Okay, that's bad. Blanket fire's not so bad. We can heal through blanket fire pretty easily. 
Up a slice. Keep on with those heals, Lucas. We need him. Nice. This guy's going to light the fire now. We need to be able to kill him. Pretty sharpish. We're not going to be able to here. But okay, we might, we might be taking blanket fire again here. We can't kill him, so let's just go for the Brigand 8 pounder. Lovely. Beautiful. That group worked out well. It did. We did give it a chance to fire, unfortunately. Ooh, this is interesting. I like, I like both of these a lot. Uh, and we will return to the Hamlet. Nice group. This guy, th these guys worked really well together. We're going to get some nice levels here as well. Uh, we also got some interesting trinkets. Ronin 1, of course, isn't useful for right now. Uh, this is incredible. Um, Term of Holy Healing is going to be very, very nice for us. And the Revenant 1 I'm interested in. We're going to be getting extra crit and damage. Uh, we're also going to be getting 40% um, bleed duration, siphon of life, healing, and obliterate under the crimson collection which i'm i think that means that if we have two of the like the a collector's trinkets on we have like two of the same ones on then we get the extra bonuses too which is interesting i like the idea of that we did get lucas level three here though which is sl sadly wow that's, that's kind of interesting um sadly not great we need some healers low level that's kind of why i've taken this vestal at lower level here it's going to help out quite a lot um Right, let's first of all take a little look. Uh, indeed, we do have a Vestel backstory here. Um, I do believe. Let's have a little look-see. Uh, we've, we've got one here. Um, many was forsaken by many. I actually quite like this as it is. So this this isn't a fully finished backstory here, but we will introduce our, our new Vestal here. Um, this is Annie, our Vestal, and this is by Pineapple. Born of an illegitimate relationship, Annie was forsaken by many ever since birth. Though she had a hard life spending most of her time at an orphanage, she did have one thing to look forward to, a visitor to the, ch um, to the ch children, Diane. Diane had only been the only kind person in to Annie for most of her life, and Annie took inspiration. Now, this is only a basic backstory, but it's it's kind of beautiful and poetic that uh, Diane died, and now we've got Annie in that she uh, took care of. I like that a lot. So, first things we're going to do is we're just going to put Annie in here and uh, get her healing skill. Well, get her skills going, because her skills aren't great right now, and I'd rather change them over to the ones I like. Um... So that, 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 that. In fact, I kind of want that as well. Yeah, I'm going to get that as well. It's a lot of money to spend on her, but she's going to be very useful for us. So just go for it. There you go. And she could come out with us very shortly. Let's have a little look what we've got on the Nomad Wagon here. A um, few interesting bits and bobs here, but nothing crazy. Uh, I'm just going to do this here. Sort by level, move up here. And make sure these guys are not trinketed up anymore. Because that's something I keep accidentally doing. Leaving trinkets on people. But that was... that. This here is like a very powerful combination. Uh, I, I'm really, really liking that combo. And this combo here is also really good. We, we get some negative stats from it. But it, it, it in the long run is really helpful. Let's see. Is anyone else we're going to take on? Ooh, nice. Okay, so... We have a new Ash, which is absolutely wonderful. Um consuming power of fire and feats of unhinged cunning so here's our new ash great we have a hound master finally uh so that's that's really nice to see um we also have an acolyte of the sun here which is very interesting i don't i don't know if we're gonna take the acolyte of the sun so acolyte of the sun is is interesting uh she's kind of a healer kind of not uh as you can see here she's got this where you get different damage and crits based on what the light is you also get the pri um, primordial bite here which is going to be a blight as well as adding restore then we have this which is restore um party once two points per round for three rounds at an 85% chance, but it's going to cause a bit of disease. Then we also have focused regeneration, which is going to heal us, but also transfer any of our regeneration. Um, 
buff target with a 20% healing from rest uh, restoration if health below. So that's going to be interesting. We'll probably take on that Acolyte of Sun there as well. I think you guys would want me to do that. So I'm going to take the Acolyte on as well. But our party's getting really, like, quite full now. We're at 54, which is, frankly, quite amazing. Uh, and I'm looking forward to getting it bigger. Um... But yeah, it's, it's it's very enjoyable so far. So let's have a look what next quest we might want to go on here. These guys are all, yeah, taking all our trinkets off. Good, good. I kind of do want to go to the Warrens. The Warrens here does have the Collector. Uh, but we, we should really go to the Warrens mainly because... Uh, Ooh. Mainly because we haven't been in a little while, honestly, and it would be a it would be a good idea to go. So I think we'll go on a a, a medium adventure here uh, that's just an apprentice level one and take Annie with us. As so, we'll take Annie here in the back line. I think we'll take Ash as well. Um, let's have a little look what Ash has got on him currently. Let's undo all his skills and go through them. So we probably want slashing strike on. Uh, we want the Molotov cocktail on because that's interesting. Incinerate. Uh, is... It's interesting. I think we'll take it. We've got Hothead, which is going to be a Repurst. Ooh, yeah, I'll go with a Repurst. And then what's his other stuff here? In fact, let's let's take off Incinerate and give him the Cleansing Fire. Um, and you can use these from anywhere, Carty, yeah. Uh, oh, Molotov is only from the back two. Interesting. Um, hmm... I suppose we could open with a we could open with a Molotov, and then head in later to the Hot Headed, which moves him forward and activates that repost. I think that could be a pretty good way to do this. Um, consumed by thoughts of inadequacy. Oh my god. Uh, let's 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 do that. Let's let's put him back line there. Uh, where are you, Ash? There you go. Let's put him there and have him m sort of move up into another position as he goes here and moving him forward is going to switch position with whoever's next so let's have a look who is going to switch position with we could take Sunis. Oh, this is a difficult one i could go here hmm red hot perk is also really good Maybe I'll go with this here instead. Yeah, let's go with that. Put him up front instead. Take Sunus in the back line here for a little bit of extra healing and all that resolve XP that she gives. And the, the, the reduced stress. Yeah, and then who are we going to take next? Willow does need to go out again. He hasn't been out in a little while. Angela's still still looking to go out... Venus really hasn't been out a lot at all, so I think we'll take Venus out uh, and let's uh, let's get these guys trinketed up and ready for their next adventure. I think that's going to be best. Uh, I think that's going to be best for us. So let's have a little look, see what we got here, so we can reorganize our trinkets. So we know for a fact the Vestal's taking her Vestal based trinket for the extra healing, along with this for the even extra healing. She's going to take. She's going to be have low HP. That's true, but. This extra healing is going to be very, very valuable. Very, very valuable. Uh, soon as... I really don't know what's best to do with soon as... In fact, I've got an idea. Let's give you the 50 resolve XP and instead give you this healing. Uh, and maybe just go with the extra prop. There. So you don't die as quickly. Because we've got two... We've unfortunately, got two things here, two people here with very, very low health, so that that's not great. And then you two can just take the damage, so you're you're getting the damage and accuracy here already. Um, and then we'll probably mix that with. You're already getting accuracy. We don't need to do that. Um. Hmm. Do we probably want speed on you. Yeah, we probably do. We could just take the 20% less stress, but she has such good stress healing. We'll take the Jar of Slime here uh, as a good way of doing this. Although, she's quite n now losing quite a lot of maximum HP here. So, maybe that's not the best idea. Uh, maybe instead, the Jar of Slime will go with this to rebuff that and give her a bit of prot. And then for you, you've not got good crit anyways. Your dodge isn't brilliant. Let's go with that. And let's go with that as well. 
and just go for the full-on damage there. And I think this could be quite a good build here. Uh, let's try this out. So we've got good healing. Uh, do we have good camping skills? Prevent nighttime ambush. Great. You've got... Prevent nighttime ambush there. That's fine. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, murmuring lantern. And... Yeah, let's 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 just go back here one sec and make sure we've got Murmuring Lantern on uh Where are you? Murmuring Lantern on I believe that was Venus, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll take that. And we'll make sure she's got that available. Yes, good. Uh that's gonna be great for us. And we're gonna go in here. We're not really getting anything great out of this. The stun chance of stun resist for dodge isn't the best. But it can, it can work in our favor. But this is just going to be a little medium quest. We're going to have to go and get the animalistic shrines. It would kind of be interesting to bring uh, Sixth along on this ride. He might be quite well versed in this. But uh, is, is Lucas at first level three? Wow, he is. Interesting. Uh, okay, let's get our provisions. Grab everything we need. So we need these pickaxes for the quest. So we'll be taking 18 food, four shovels, two, actually three. Three, three, and a whole bunch of these. We're gonna take eighteen, actually. And here we go. I'm a little, I'm a little wary of this group here, but I really want to level up my Vestal, so I'm hoping this goes okay. Uh, let's see how this goes. I'm a little worried for the collector. If the collector shows up, we could have some problems. We don't really have a lot of backline damage here, uh, so that's certainly going to be something we have to worry about. Uh, I might even want to look into uh, draw dropping some of our skills for some more backline damage here. Uh, we don't really have anything like that, though, unfortunately. Red Hot Poker's pretty good. Striking Slash is really good. I didn't th uh, think about doing this earlier, but we'll do it now. We do have another diary entry. This one is by uh, Sofrol, and this is a diary entry for Oracle at the end of the Wield mission, uh, our Sunlight Warrior. The refreshing light of the sun empowers... Um, empowers me throughout the entire expedition. I will preach the word of the sun and slay all that stand in my way. And I'm returning to the hamlet. That willow guy gave me dirty looks. If only he knew the warmth of the sun. I don't think he has malicious intent in mind, but if it comes down to it, I won't hesitate to protect the sun. And willow is, of course, a dark ray, so that makes a lot of sense there. But let's let's come on here. I'm, I'm, in, I'm looking forward to using these classes. I've been looking forward to using the um, arsonist for a little while here. So let's see how Ash performs. We've got a battle straight away. I'm a little worried for Vestal. Of course, she takes an inordinate amount of stress immediately. So we'll go for the stress heal straight away. She's going to be buffing resolve XP as, as we go here. Watch us cut. Ow. Go for a big heal there. Okay. This is a low speed group, apparently. Very low speed. That's going to be great there. Soothing slice. Let me get rid of that stress. We're going to keep getting rid of that stress and go for the resolve XP here. Nice kill. Lovely. Everyone's up to healed. Red Hot Poker's going to grab you. And I love the fact that it bleeds too. I didn't even think about that fact, but it's very useful. Leave soon as alone. She can't deal with this. Nice slice there. You two are dead. We really should be taking out the stress dealer, but that backline stress dealer is hard to deal with. Another good job, Sunus. Or just Sun, should we say. Get that stress down. So we do want to be camping early rather than late here. Um, in case you guys didn't know. Simply because... Nice heals. Simply because if we do that, then... Ow. Wow. Lots of blight and stuff. Um, simply because if we do that, then we don't lose our resolve XP as quickly. But at the same time, we might want to save our camping for when we actually need it. It's a difficult one. It's certainly a difficult one. And of course, this is an adventure where we kind of need to go everywhere we need to go. How much blight do you have? One more round. Okay. That's not great. Um, in fact... We're going to heal you up a little bit there with some food. Don't like doing that, but you kind of needed to there. You need another map, really. That'd be great. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is what we need to do, isn't it? Quest item. Good, good. 
So we finding one of those airlies, lovely. Okay, no stress dealers here, and we got the surprise, which is brilliant. Um, I'm going to just add the restoration to myself here, and hope that helps out a lot. Uh, these guys do have armor, so I'm going to go with that. That is so close to a kill there. So close to a kill. Sun, you can take that. Let's get that kill there. Okay, the crits from the, uh, the hook here are what I'm scared of right now. They can really hurt. Please don't go for our Vestal. I do not want to lose another Vestal. Annie here is but a child. Leave her be. We'll be doing that for the stress heals. Keeping everyone stressed down. And... We'll go with this buff. This buff's always good. Nice hit there. I think I think Venus is amazing, by the way. Uh, like, in terms of the class and just backstory and everything, Venus is going to be really interesting. Especially once that other half gets here, brother. Finish you off. Um... Mark that target. In fact, let's just go for that there. And the hot poker. No, I misclicked. Oh, I hate that so much. Okay, no blight there. That's great. And a miss as well is even better. Got that stress reduction there. Take him down. Okay, adding bleed to him is not good because he gets new attacks, but there he goes. Taken out before he gets given the chance. And we got some trinkets here. Uh, this is difficult. We got a lot of stuff that we don't really want to get rid of here. Um, so that's pretty good. Bleed chance and debuff skill chance is really nice. I'm going to get rid of the blight stone for this. Uh, and then both of these is difficult. It's difficult. Heal you off. <laughs> Succubus, uh, stress healing skills and plus you stress when not guarded. Interesting. Uh, kind of want to keep that. I'll get rid of this for these. <sighs> I really want those crests. I'll take them. I'll take them. Too important to just leave them. Right. A oh, quest location. Okay, I can I can find out that's a quest location. So I don't technically need to go through this bit here, but I might as well. We've got the shovels to do it. Right. Another hunger check here. So camping is becoming less and less likely by the moment. We have a lot of resolve XP here, which I'm very grateful of. Uh, we go up this way. This is kind of be just a quest where we complete we complete the quest we need to and then go. Just for the resolve XP more than anything, especially with uh with our girl here getting so much out of it. Annie getting a very, very huge amount of XP with that extra 50% she's getting from that trinket. Wow, yeah, we definitely ain't camping now. Okay, we do have a fight here. And okay, not too bad. Please don't crit. Oh the hook it where it hurts is it's brutal. It's brutal. Nice heal there. It really, it really does mess us up that. Take you out. Not enough to kill you, but you will die next turn, I think. Yeah, you will. So we can leave you alone now. That mark with the bleed isn't great for us. Take you out with a nice swipe there and reduce that stress a little bit. They really, really like going for Sunus here, but not much we can do about it. Let's buff everyone up. Finish you off. Not quite, but the bleed will finish. And... Oh, ho, ho, so close there. That was great. Oh, nice dodge, Annie. Nice dodge. I'm in over the head. She passed her turn. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, definitely. Let's cure that bleed off of you. And that's a huge hit there. Absolutely huge hit. And there you go. I'm, I, I'm actually quite liking this group more than I thought I would. Ooh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. We definitely want that. Uh, get rid of the herbs. Take that. Definitely. Ooh, a trap there. 
Not gr not great. Um, this is going to get rid of a bad quirk. These both have imposter syndrome. It's way worse on you. Way worse. Thank God that's gone. I believe that's what caused her to pass her turn. I believe. Vented with bleed here. I really shouldn't have done that. Um... We'd like to get to that back line, so we're going to kill him in order to push up the front. Ah. Okay, you did some damage to him. Great. Take some horror here. I'm going to try and take out that corpse to pull him up front so we can hit him. Uh, let's go with that and remove that bleed off of you before you start taking too much damage. Get that restore going. I'm going to go for a heal on Ash here. Okay. And then we'll use this here. Get that buff going. It basically gives us the big accuracy bonus is the main thing. Wow. That was bad. Um, Let's try and get you, get you gone. Good, good, good. No more stress for us. Uh, I think I'll take the bandages here and do that. Long well, trying to finish you off. Nice. The bleed finished him off there. Lovely. Run for the old gods. Could have hurt. Not so, not so bad, though. Unfortunately, we got a kill there. I was kind of hoping for an extra turn to get some heals and some stress heals going. We didn't quite get it. I'm fine for leaving that money there. I'm sorry, but it needs to be done. Oh. No. 17 stress and a huge bit of damage on us there. That's the main problem here. Oh, guys, please. Please. And we got that off both of them, the imposter syndrome off both of them there. How much is that? That's not too bad. It's there. It's right there. Do we really want to go through the battle? We can't do anything with that anyways. Do we want to go through the battle or do we want to go all the way back around? I mean, we have to fight anyways, so... I get, oh my, oh, guys, just, just look under your feet for a moment and see the traps, please, you're killing me here, this could be quite bad for Ash, okay, this fight could change things, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, oh my god, the all got to go first, okay, this is bad, we have to do this. Cure that blight off you. Nice crit. Great. Gets the extra dodge as well. Better to go for the full heal than the party heal, I think. I think we can survive that. Oh, don't blight me again. You. We have a lot of ways to remove blight here, so that's, that's nice. That restore should help out a lot. Nice. I'm going go for the heal here now. Nice. Seven heals. Huge. Resisted it this time. Great. Finish you off. Ooh, that was scary, but we, we kind of came out of it on top here, I think. I'm actually going to try and prolong this fight a little to get some more healing off. Get that going. Ooh, that's what we like to see. Wow. Okay, you're definitely healed to full now. Great stuff. Okay, we came out of that very much on top. Didn't get a resolve XP as high as I was wanting, but that's fine. We'll leave the busts. I'm okay to leave the busts, honestly. And we got to go into a battle here. Not too bad. The surprise really helps out here. Uh, we definitely need to de-stress on Diane. That, oh, I'm sorry. Annie, I'm sorry to bring it up. I didn't mean to. Go for a stun on you. Stuns always help out. Take a little mix match on you two. Try and finish this guy off. This guy's always a pain. Nice dodge there, son. Ow. That puts us in a bit of a weird spot, but we're okay. 
the stun on her is, is definitely terrible, because we need her for stress reduction before the, the, the tasks end, but got to deal with it. Nice kill. Let's go for the party heal here. Unfortunate on that stun there. Nice kill, Venus. Okay, mix this round again. Reduce that stress a little. Just keep going on that stress reduction. Doesn't help. Certainly a problem. Oh my god. The stress is the biggest problem here right now. You should be dead. We need some healing here on uh, on Anne. Annie. Oh, huge heal, Annie. Huge heal. I should have just gone for the other one. He was going to die to bleed anyways. I'm going to take more stress because of that mistake. It's okay, though. We got it. Okay, so we can start to throw things away now. So I'm going to throw that away because we don't need that. Uh, I'm going to throw the shovels away because we know we don't need them. Oh. I'm going to throw that away because we know we don't need that. Lovely. My God, we've got so many of these. Uh, range skill. That's a problem, but not terrible. Uh, and then no one else has got anything. So I guess we just do it on, on Sun here. There you go. Great stuff. Returns to Hamlet. We should get some crazy levels up here. We just kept all of that resolve XP, plus the extra 50%. So let's see how leveling goes here. Yep. We got, we got Annie straight to level 2. We got Ash straight to level 2. Venus straight to level 2. And Sun's almost level 3. Okay, that's great. Evasive's amazing. Uh, increased chance of winning gold in the treatment ward. That's also great. And toxic. Also great. Okay, so this here was a massive success with Annie here. I am... Um, I, I feel like that was a bit of a big brain play. <laughs> we will, uh, we will first of all, sort by level here. Um, make sure these guys are untrinketed. Trinkets worked out pretty well there. I've been really enjoying the trinkets we've actually had to play around with, to be honest. I think they've been very fun. Uh, and yeah, that this here plus um, plus sun, beautiful. And I think that's I think that's really quite ripe for um, for some diary entries for you guys to to write and maybe me as well. So I do hope you guys get involved with that. Uh, just gonna do this to embark. I do want to have a look at what bosses we've got coming up. We have got the Incant Flesh with the Butcher here. That's interesting. Ooh, that's that's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, we have got some cool stuff there. Uh, but let's have a little look. Let's put Annie in for some prayer. Give her a chance. But that's great. Let's have a look what else we've got here. Ooh, we do have a new class to bring on. Uh, we have ourselves... Oh, we also have a an air. The air is so good. The air is so good. But it's a level zero. But we did just get a level zero all the way to level two in one mission. Um, I think we will take on, so there's going to be four class we're taking on here. We'll take on the Cannoneer, and we'll take on the Air as well. I'm trying to stay away from taking on level zeros, but that worked out pretty well for us here. Um, yeah. Uh, mainly, mainly good because of these two skills here. Um, adds another healer, and we need more healers, so that's really good for us to have there. Uh, and the Cannoneer is just interesting to play with. Uh, it can, can be quite interesting indeed. I quite like the idea of him, so we'll bring him along for the ride, see how he goes. And that's going to be four new classes. We do have one more backstory to go over just before we uh, finish this off. We have a journey entry written by T-E-A-T -E here um, for Maggie, our in itinerant cook after the wheeled mission. I found a number of delectables within that dying forest. Herbs, mushrooms, and cuts of meat I've never seen before. I collected them all with haste and packed them up for later. The glares from the others was were not comforting. They claimed the rations were running low and they could use some food, but I was hoarding. Was my cooking not enough? That's a great little reference to the fact that Maggie has uh, 
has that problem where she just eats all the food she finds. I actually think that's great. She has uh, gluttonous here. It's so glutton, glut, uh, gluttonous plus ignorant um, are, and even susceptible are all really interesting for her. I really, really like that. Uh, she basically just is constantly just eating all the food she finds and is very susceptible to getting ill because of it. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of that. Either way, this has been an absolutely great episode. We've got a lot done here and we've got a lot to go on and go forward with in the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you do have any di um, diary entries or backstories to leave, please do join the Discord if you're not in there already. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.